Okay, now we're looking into the lateral compartment again, femur above and tibia below. Now, femoral cartilage here looks great. The tibial cartilage is somewhat fissured. Again, remembering this is about a three millimeter probe, so very minimal um, scuffing. This is the popliteus tendon right back here. So there's increased mobility of the lateral meniscus here. But the remainder of the meniscus posteriorly looks good. I do have some concerns. I'm going to wash this out just a bit here. Okay, and then flex back. Got it. On the middle one third. More mobile than what I'd like to see here. Just like the posterior horn, you see how far I can drag this into the knee. And I think again, or what we have is probably a capsular origin disruption. Um, that's awfully mobile there. The back end I expect to be mobile, where the popliteus tendon is. But this part should not be. So we're going to anchor both of those. Now I want to go up into the remainder of the knee joint. This is the small cannula we use to irrigate the knee with a sterile saline. The quadriceps is above, the femur down below. And as we back off, we can look into the medial recess, the inner aspect of the knee. Femur is to the left, tibia straight below, and the joint lining overlying the medial collateral ligament is to the right, up, over, and down to the lateral compartment, just the opposite. Joint lining to the left, femur to the right, tibia down below and popliteus tendons. So, so good news, ACL and PCL both intact. Uh, don't need to do anything there. Um, a nice view of the ACL. Posterior cruciate ligament just behind this, stable as could be. Um, but we're gonna do some work right back here. Gauge, please. So we're going to do some repairs. Come on over with this. Hmm? Uh, the MyTech. Um, yeah. So I'm going to use this needle here to scoot under, and right where the joint capsule is underneath, I'm making some holes. Now what this is going to do is bring in an area for blood supply. Now we're going to do the same thing. You're not going to get any bleeding because you've got a tourniquet on. We'll come on over to lateral. Mm -hmm. fissure in the cartilage we had talked about earlier. Working way underneath. So this is going to help with the blood supply. We'll get our equipment. We'll be